Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analyst, Allie LaForce on the sidelines. And a chance here to check out some stats for Jalen Green. And he's been outstanding offensively as of late. These last five games, he's been a beast at the offensive end. A different level score than he had been earlier in the season. Let's see if he can keep it up. Now the starting group for the Houston Rockets. Green the two with Gordon the three. Jayshon Tate out there with Christian Wood. And it's Porter in at the point guard position. And for the Hawks, at the forward slots, Hunter and Collins. Young and Herder, the one and the two. And it's Capella in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And these teams both extremely talented up front. Brent, in your estimation, have the days of the bruising, paint-oriented front court come and gone? Yeah, I think so, B.A. I think we're looking at the game the way that it should be played. It's a game of movement. It's a game of pace. It's a game of spacing. And right now, you're looking for guys who have versatility. And I don't know when we're going to go back to that rock 'em sock 'em post-up style play. Now here's Young. He's putting up some terrific numbers. Over 28 a game. And it's Houston's ball. And here's Gordon from the arc. And that comes Eric off Gordon. the assist by Green. Well, if Eric Gordon gets the ball from beyond the arc, you have to respect his ability to knock those down. Give my hand pass your ATL Hawks dancer dance team. And here's Capella, taking a look at his numbers, averaging about 11 a game. Pass to Hunter. Up and over Gordon. And the 17-footer goes down. Yeah, that's a shoot-around shot as Hunter had plenty of space to knock it down. Brent, no matter what happens in DeAndre Hunter's pro career, in college, he created a signature moment for himself in the closing moments of the 2019 National Championship game. Remember, he hit a game-tying three to send it to overtime. And, and then the Cavs eventually were able to pull that game out and win the title. It was just a heroic end to his season. But he's about defense, and that's the area of the court right now where he's making the most impact in his NBA career. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Good on the shot. Just do your work, try to get open, and Trey's going to find you. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Outside Tate. Back to Gordon. He takes it in. And Gordon with the big finish. Nice change of speed from Gordon on the drive to the hoop. Love that aggressiveness. Here's Collins. Again, Atlanta. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now here's Tate with the fadeaway. And it's blocked by Collins. Good timing defensively. Collins just up there, the long arms, and quick off the deck. They get it back. Hunter. And the layup falls. Hunter's got six. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Gordon can't hit. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. And for some reason, he decided to foul there. Yeah, B.A., that's an odd move. Maybe there's something else behind it. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Akangwu checks in for the Hawks. Bogdanovich comes in for Hunter. Matthews, he's checked in for the Rockets. Schroeder comes in for Porter Jr. And another miss by Houston. Atlanta's gone only one of four from three-point land. For three, Collins. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. The Rockets have gone four of eight and looking in control. Outside Tate. Will it go? Knocks it down from distance. A heady play there from Schroeder zipping the pass to the teammate who had the cleanest look on the possession. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. He's going off this quarter. A huge reason why this team is on top. Schroeder against Young. Inside. 
And Wood with the basket on the assist from Tate. Wood's got his second basket of the game. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. A Kong Wu with the bucket. 59 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Schroeder passes to Green. The three is up. And the Rockets hit again from deep. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want to rethink that strategy, though. Here's Herder. Again, Atlanta. Good at getting into a rhythm and riding these kind of shots to establish his offensive confidence as Kevin Herder. Pass to Tate. Power down after the assist led him to the lane. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power forward, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Herder gets the bucket. Well, that's who Herder is outside on the perimeter. A confident long-range shooter. Now here's Green. We've got 13 seconds left in the first. And there's a defensive three-second call. That's why I'm and the technical free throw is good. The potential shooter has is pretty exciting. Such a lightning quick point guard. 12 seconds left in the first. The three drops in the three. It's a tie ball game. And <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. Who's going to miss first? Every time one team scores, the other team right back at you. Bogdanovic. Oh! He hits it at the buzzer. He just nails the three. Way to close the quarter. Well, you love nailing the last second shot. Always a feel-good moment. John Collins has been leading the charge for the Atlanta Hawks. He's found his range, hitting three triples in the quarter. We'll be right back. Well, Kevin Porter Jr. given a big opportunity in Houston. He talked about how his role has changed now that he's in the starting lineup. You know, coming off the bench, you kind of have a feel for the game already watching it. And um, starting, you're starting off. So um, just got to start fast. And um, I got to come in ready to play from the, from the jump. No doubt, Grant Porter showing flashes. No doubt at all, B.A. A golden opportunity. He's got talent, and now we're seeing what he can do in a starring role. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Hawks. That mid-range jump shot has been a good weapon for them up to this point, guys. Well, it's also been a real solid start for them from behind the three-point line. That shot's been there so far. They've got DeAndre Hunter, Lou Williams out there with DeLon Wright. Then it's Clint Capella, and it's Gallinari in at the four spot. So that's the Hawks' five. Back to Porter. Launches a three. And he's in the books. Now one for two. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Here's Martin looking for his first basket still in this one. Six to shoot. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. Capella with a block. And Capella, one of the best shot blockers in the NBA. You can see his timing on that play. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. And in the league today, we've got some all-time greats playing out on the wing. But who do you think the best wing in the NBA is right now, Grant? Oh, boy, oh, boy. You're trying to get me in trouble. That's a tough one. I mean, you have LeBron, you have Giannis. You have Kawhi, Katie, all of them are elite. All of them are champions. So if I had to choose, uh, I guess I'll go with, I don't know. They're just all great. Let's see who's the All right, who's coming the court? Come on, get loud. 
Atlanta making some changes here. Herter comes in for Williams, and it's Young in for Wright. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They're on an 11-3 run. There's Young with the three. Gets the three ball to go. Young's gotten himself going with a triple, his first basket of the game. Houston has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Porter, the pass to Wood. And stolen by Herter. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. And out of bounds, Houston will have it. And with a break here, let's look at the best free throw shooters in this year's rookie class. Jalen Green, fourth. A skill that works at every level, free throw shooting. And he's been comfortable even under the bright lights of the NBA. Young against Porter. Gordon outside. Pass to Wood. Second chance effort. Gallinari pulls it in. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. And here's Hunter from the arc. Drills it from deep. Hunter's got 11. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Tate against Capella. Here's Wood. Here he goes. And Wood with the stuffs. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Oh, got that one up quick. Capella's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Twelve straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Here's Wood. And Wood with the stuff. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Hunter, good. Guys, he can't miss. I swear, he was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss. Now here's Gordon. Give him eight points now. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Gordon. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. Atlanta making some changes here. Akangwu checks in for Clint Capella. Collins comes in for Gallinari. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Hunter. Matthews, he's checked in for the Rockets. Schroeder comes in for Porter Jr. Here's Schroeder. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. And that one's good. Green. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Here's Herter. Pure from three-point range. Give him eight. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Shots good by Schroeder. Well, Schroeder, a guy that does not lack for confidence connecting on that catch and shoot. Here's Young. Again, Atlanta. And from the mid-range area, they've been the more effective team. Schroeder against Young. Wood, a screen on Collins. Here's Tate. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. They had a lot of breaks go their way in that game. And hey, they cashed in when they could. Yeah, the last game, it felt like they were just feeding off of what they were doing defensively, forcing a lot of those turnovers. And that helps build your defensive confidence.
Williams has checked in for the Hawks. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Twenty seconds left in the first half. A nice shot by Young. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Houston has gone six of eight from the three-point line in this matchup. Outside Schroeder. Shoots over a Kongwu. That one a little long. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Hawks ahead. Running away with it. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Trey, you've made it look easy so far. How have you been able to pick them apart? Uh, I'm just taking what the defense is giving me. Uh, open driving lanes. Uh, they're leaving some of our bigs open. Uh, pick and roll, things like that. We just got to continue to do it and uh, try to get this win. Guys, reading the defense is something that he's pretty good at. Thanks so much, Trey. Thanks very much, Allie. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Welcome, everybody. This game revealing a big disparity in play. What a performance so far for the Atlanta Hawks. Kenny, let's start with you. How do you motivate your team in the locker room facing a deficit like this? It's all about the attitude. These guys are playing on autopilot lifeless. They look like what Shaq always talk about, barbecue chicken. First of all, Kenny, if you're going to steal my lines, say it right. Barbecue chicken alert! Barbecue chicken alert! All right, fellas, let's check in on our first half of action and the dominating performance for the Atlanta Hawks. I like what they're doing offensively. Looking at their field goal percentage, they're moving the ball, getting great looks, and of course, they're knocking down shots. I mean, that's the point of the game, isn't it? Shaq, right? That's the point. Obviously. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. We've seen DeAndre Hunter really having a great game. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. So on the floor for Houston, Porter Jr. and Green team up in the backcourt. Eric Gordon is out there with Jay Sean Tate, and it's Wood in at the five, roaming the paint. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Porter, the pass to Green. To the middle. Here's Wood. And that comes off the assist by Green. Wood's got 10 points in the game. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. And you get some traditional big man stuff from Wood. If you look at his handles, going one-on-one -on -one outside the painted area, most centers can't do all the things that he can do. Shot is good by Gordon. When Eric Gordon's pulling up like that and hitting those shots, got to be a big concern for the opposing coach. And here's Collins for three. Another three for Atlanta. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. And Wood's shown great versatility on offense. But the same skill set applies on the defensive end as well. I mean, he can switch. He slides on the perimeter to protect the rim. His skill set is exactly what scouts are looking for now at the center position. Young against Porter. From nine feet out, and there's Hunter on the assist from Young. 15 points in the game. Just needing a couple to fall. DeAndre Hunter oozing with confidence. Porter with it, and it's Young picking him up. Gordon attacking, and Gordon with the big finish. <laughs> and he just punches home the one-hand finish. Hey, two points the easy way. And here's Collins for three. That shot, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line.
Wood inside. Young's there. From deep three-point range, sinks it. What range from downtown. Ridiculous handles there. How effective is he at creating opportunities? Order the pass to Gordon. Wood with the screen. Gordon can't hit. Atlanta's gone three of four from outside in the second half. Pass to Young. Back to Herter. From deep. And he can't get that one. And Houston will come the other way. Minnesota will be traveling to face him after this game. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Porter finds Wood. Over Capella. Stolen by Capella. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Green against Young. Porter pulls it in. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around Jim all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. Now here's Young. He's got 11. Buries it from three. Young knows his range to answer his opponent. The Rockets have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Timeout call. Houston, boy, you got to like what John Collins has done in this game. The defense has to take the ball out of his hands. He's just knocking down every three-pointer he takes right now. And it's a completely new group for the Hawks. Let's take a look at the seeding for the Eastern Conference with only four games of the regular season remaining. You look at Atlanta, they're clinging on to the final playoff spot in the conference, trying to improve their position if possible. Well, right now for the Hawks, they've had some terrific moments this season. But where's the big leap upward that we've been waiting for? Now, you just don't want to sit in the middle for too long. You either want to be competing against the top teams or starting to strategize where you can position yourself for a high lottery pick and maybe turn around your franchise's fortunes. Now here's Bogdanovich. Checking the numbers, he's averaging close to 15 a game. The shot's good. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. Pass to Schroeder. Here's Shangun. Akongwu with the rebound. Akongwu's got his fourth rebound in this one from deep three-point range. The Rockets pull it in. There's 42 seconds left in the third quarter. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. For Atlanta, they've gotten seven of 12 shots to drop in the third. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Gallinari's got six points. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Knocks down the triple. He's got six. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Here's Christopher, and it's Houston scoring again. Good decision making. Scopes the situation, puts the pass right on the mark. Bogdanovich from long range, and the Hawks with another three. Well, the range for Bogdanovich continues to expand. He's showing real confidence taking the long bombs. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. The Hawks on top, opening up a huge gap. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. The well, coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel Nice play, collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Gorgie Jang. DeLon Wright is out there with Lou Williams. Then it's Danilo Gallinari, and it's Knox in at small forward. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. 
And let's face it, when you're down this many points, you simply can't let them get that good of a look. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Here's Schroeder. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Lightning quick first step from Schroeder. Phenomenal at throwing down that one on the drive. Jang gets the bucket. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. He drops it from range. <laughs> they're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. And he's going for the oop here. Out of bounds. It'll be Hawks ball. A sloppy turnover. When you're not locked in, you pay the price. Fernando's checked in for the Rockets. Porter Jr. comes in for Schroeder. Pass to Williams. Shot on the wing. And it's Atlanta scoring again. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Porter gets the bucket. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Pass to Nwaba. Over Williams. Nwaba can't get it to go. The Hawks have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Galadari for three. That shot off. And Houston will come the other way. Outside Nwaba, Porter with it. From behind the arc, sends it home from three-point land. No way he's gonna pass that shot up. The D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on him. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Well, your seven seconds or less Suns really paved the way for the pace and space style that we see throughout the league today, Grant. You know, B.A., it really did. But, you know, it's interesting. I think there were those back then that thought it was kind of gimmicky. But, boy, has it changed. And I, I feel like we could have had more success if we had just gone all in on that approach. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Capella, he's checked in for Jang. Collins comes in for Gallinari. Hunters checked in for Knox. And Herders subbed in for Williams. And a change for the Rockets. Tate's checked in. The drive by Porter. Doesn't go for him. Collins with the defensive effort. And the Hawks make it a change here. Young's checked in. Woods checked in for the Rocket. Now well, we're going to have a technical Team. foul here. Excessive they timeout. tried to call timeout, but had already used them all. They just lost track of the situation. What? What is he doing? He's got to know they're out of timeouts. Huge mental lapse. What an unnecessary technical. Boy, you know he's going to hear about that one in the locker room. Not his finest moment. Houston has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Driving inside, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Now all the way to the bucket, no resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. From deep, Capella. He buries it from three. Shooters tend to be hungry, but this time Herder finds an open teammate. The Rockets have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Here's Christopher. So it'll be two free. And that's his first personal foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Hawks? What a tremendous showing from three-point land. A technical foul has been called on the Hawks. Shooting the technical free throw, Josh Christopher. First one falls for him. Shooting for Houston, Josh Christopher. Two shots. Shooting the technical. Josh and he knocks down the first one. A line for the Rockets, Josh Christopher. At the line of two. And that one misses. Well, Grant, it seems like more and more game time is spent with officials huddled around a monitor. You think instant replay has been a positive thing? Shooting the technical, Josh Christopher.
Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Outside Porter. Pass to Christopher. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And a big mental mistake as they call a timeout when they had none remaining. And they'll pay for it with maybe the rarest of technical fouls. A total lack of awareness there. Didn't seem to know they were out of timeouts. You don't expect to see that at this level. Grant, he just completely lost his concentration, I think. Should have been paying better attention at that moment. How about that? That's a big boost defensively if Herter can get in there and block shots and intimidate in some way. Young, the pass to Hunter. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got seven assists in the game. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Confidence is sensational, and it feels like no one is going to stop him tonight from scoring. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Hawks. And everything seemed to go their way today. Let's just remember this about Trey Young. In the 1920 season, he became only the fifth player in NBA history to average more than 29 points and nine assists. And when Young joined the 29.9 assist club, his company was pretty exclusive. Brent, the great Oscar Robertson, he did it a bunch of times. And of course, you know the three others. Well, I think James Harden, Russell Westbrook, of course, and then look it up, kids, Tiny Archibald. So all, all Hall of Famers, in my opinion, those three names we just mentioned. And the fact that Trey did it in his second season, you got to be kidding. And stolen by Wood. Here's Christopher. Pulls it. And that one hits the back iron. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. Pass to Collins. Outside Herder. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Atlanta making some changes here. Gallinari, he's checked in for Hunter. Williams comes in for Herter. And Wright subbed in for Young. On the attack, Schroeder. No good that time. Excellent D there from Capella. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. From deep. Gallinari's shot is off. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 15-5 run. Here's Shangun. Back to Tate. Let's it go from 11. And the jumper is on the mark. Tremendous offensive execution. Just trying to get as many clean looks as possible. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. Showing that they're the far superior team. They win it going away. I'll tell you what. Give it up for their fans. They love to watch this team dominate. You best believe they're all going home happy tonight. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight. How satisfying was it to get this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting the win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against, and um, that, that's all I care about. Thanks, Trey. Guys? All right, Ali, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, Trey Young.